We're on. Hey, now. We are going to have a great time. We got a great show. We got Brian Sanders. We got Laz Vic. We got Paul Green. And we got Eric Escobar. Let's welcome them to a show called Zoom Lagoon. Zoom Lagoon, I'm so glad you're here. It's another great Wednesday. It's a no drama, no news zone. We're just having fun. We're glad you're here. Hey, I want to let you know that next week, I got Mr. Omar Illusion returning with some magic. I got Josh Randall. He's a musical comedian, real cool cat. He's been working with American Idol, and he was on America's Got Talent. He's a cool cat. I can't wait to see what he's been up to. We got Frankie, my buddy, and then we got Will Roberts doing some magic. And speaking of Will Roberts, I have a show with him next Saturday, the Zoomfield Follies. Featuring my boy, Jonathan Molo, and Chris Heron is Faust. And then everybody's favorite. I always get a lot of comments about Meadow Perry's going to be here. And we got Nate or Hannah. I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting him. And then I'm going to maybe be debuting a brand new song. Nice. And tonight is Elvis night. Once again, my guests get the biggest intros ever, every time. And so we've done different theme nights. We've done Queen. We've done the Beatles. We did the Stones. We did Metallica, Bob Marley, U2, Scary Halloween songs, Pink Floyd. And today, baby, it's Elvis Presley. So today, they'll be playing to win. Elvis. Sunglasses. So amazing. What a great prize. Sunglasses. All right. All right. And you know it's quality when you buy it from Party World. Okay, so if you win today, I'll be uh, I'll be sending that to you from Amazon, right to your house, safely left at your door. So it is now time to meet the gallery. Boom, Quizum Lagoon. Hey, look at that. Hey, welcome to Quizum Lagoon. Let's say hi to Mr. Paul Green. How you doing, Paul Green? I am fantastic. Hey, how was Vegas? You were out there for the World Series of Comedy. Congratulations on making it that far. Thank you so much. It was super fun. Had a great set. I did not advance, but man, it was doing live comedy. So it was a bl- I mean, Zoom Lagoon online comedy is also awesome. Oh, yeah, well. Great having, you know, an audience there in person. At uh, a Vegas not, run. You had yeah. a Vegas run with shows. That sounds – I'm kind of jelly. That sounds cool to me. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's awesome. All right. Well, thanks for coming back. We have Eric Escobar in the house. Yo, 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 yo. What's up? How you doing, Scotty B? I'm doing good, man. You've been crushing on the shows. I see nonstop listings. That's awesome. Yeah been booking a lot definitely probably have covid so uh yeah it's been going <laughs> i know you've been doing some out outside shows too right yeah a couple outdoor shows it's weird though because i feel like before you would have these like these shows are almost like parties you know what i mean everyone's like right. hanging out a good time but now it's like everything has to be done by 10 everything has to be like super like so it's cool i like it do i no i don't you know what i love 
the Zoom Lagoon. I'm happy to be here. Oh, thanks, man. You, you, you crush it. It's always a pleasure to have you. I love your energy. And then we got my buddy. When I first started doing online shows, um, I met this guy named Laz Vic from New Jersey, and he really helped me out, and he's a funny dude. And let's give a round of applause, Mr. Laz Vic. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Scott! Scott! Wow. What's going on, my man? Hey, man. Uh, they legalized, legalized smoking in, in New Jersey, and it, you're already... Yeah, um, yeah. I've been home ever since they passed the new laws. <laughs> I haven't left the house. Uh, to stay away from the edibles. Oh, I'm so <laughs> happy. I'm so happy. I feel like we're I feel like I'm in California. Hey now, I like that. California dreaming. And we got a returning magician, Mr. Brian Sanders. Let's give him a round of applause too. All right. What's up, y'all? Hey, what's going on over there, man? North Carolina, right? Yep, North Carolina. Yep, everything's wow. going great, man. Thanks for having me back. I'm excited. Oh, my pleasure. Well, hey, guys, it's time to play Quiz Zoom Lagoon. I'm going to ask everybody a question. I have categories. You'll pick a category. If you get it right, you get two points. If you want a hint, you can say, I'd like a hint. Then you can answer it for one point. Everybody gets one steal, but it's a quick game. So if you know an answer, don't hold out on the steal. Just raise your hand and say, I'd like to steal. Okay, here we go. We're going to go in order of performance. So that's going to mean Eric, Brian, Laz, then Paul. And then, by the way, Eric does stand up. Brian's going to do some magic. Laz does comedy. And then Paul does comedy and music too. Okay, so there we go. Here we go. Eric Escobar, here, here are excited. the questions sports, New Jersey, magic, nerd, nerd, TV, TV oh, well, jam, geography, or video? TV, the TV jam. I like it. Let's go. TV Jam. Lisa Simpson, what instrument does she play? The saxophone, baby. <laughs> that is correct. Two points, Eric Escobar. Okay, congratulations. All right, now we're moving on to Brian. Here are your categories. We have sports, New Jersey, magic, nerd, geography, or video games. Well, obviously, I'm going to go with magic. Magic. Okay. Magicians commonly use a blank to help with scarves disappearing or appearing. Uh, what is a thumb tip? Thumb tick, fake thumb. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> two to two. Oh my God. Everyone's getting it tonight. All right. That last Vic. Here oh, are your sure. categories. Sports, New Jersey, nerd, Geography or video games? Cats. Cats. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Video games. Video games. Video games. What is the best selling video game of all time right now? Mario Brothers. Wow. Ooh, any, anybody for the steal? Eric Escobar for the steal. Uh, what is God of War? Ah, uh, anybody else? Uh, Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft. Uh, 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 of World of Warcraft. It's Minecraft. Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I said World of Minecraft. World of Minecraft. That's what I said. <laughs> Did he say that? No, he said World of Warcraft. Right, dude, okay, okay, let's go on. Okay, uh, so now we go on to Paul. It is your turn. So you can jump in the game right now. We got sports, New Jersey, nerd, or geography. Let's go with sports, but it better not be a baseball question. Okay, it's a baseball question. No, it's good. <laughs> it's a partial baseball question. Oh, uh, I don't know anything about baseball. Well, I think I think this one's pretty easy. All right, here we go. What city has the NBA Finals champion and the baseball champion? <laughs> Los Angeles, baby. Oh, Los Angeles, California. Oh, Los Angeles, LA, California. 
Oh, we waited a long time. Oh, here we go. All right. <laughs> All right, enough. Cut. Band, watch the cues. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so uh, we have a three-way tie. Okay, so here we go. I have to go to the bonus questions. All right, I'm going to go with Brian. This is the nerd question. Okay. okay. I'm going to give you, uh, what is the number one Marvel movie that is not an Avenger movie? It's a standalone Marvel movie. Oh. 2002 Spider-Man with Tim, with Tim McGuire. Oh, man, you started the horn at the beginning. I know. I have big, I have big fingers. <laughs> anybody anybody for the steal? Iron steel, Man. Steel, steel. It was a standalone movie first, and then it was part of the Avengers. So I'm going Iron no, no, Man. Well, it, it's, it's just not – doesn't have Avengers in the title. Steal. Steel, yeah. Wonder Woman. That's DC. That's DC. Oh, okay. I don't know anything. Oh, uh, it is Black Panther. Oh, wow. Remember, it killed it right before the Avengers. It killed it. It's the number one money making standalone film. So that Paul. All right. So, uh, oh, that was Brian. So now, uh, Eric Escobar and Paul, you get a second question. Okay, here we go. Uh, you get. Let's see. We have geography. Or New Jersey. Anybody want to claim one? Jersey. I'm going to claim Jersey. All yeah. right. Jersey for Eric. Here we go. Uh, name the New Jersey State animal. Um, Tony Soprano. I'm pretty sure it's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close. Oh, it's... A, anybody? Come on, last. Oh, my you God. Know? I don't know. The bear? You uh, don't know? Bears, California. It's oh. a snippy, isn't it? <laughs> That was my throw for you. I thought that was like your easy question. No, it's a horse. Oh. I had no idea. It's a horse. Well, I, I know no California is a bear. There's a bear on our flag, right? If I answer the geography question, I win, right? You win. Good. The only thing I know less than baseball is geography. Let's do it. Wait, wait, Scott. Tony yeah. Soprano isn't a horse? <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Of course. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, we have... The last question. You can you can win it all, Paul. You can win it all. Here we go. What is the longest river in the world? Oh, jeez. You could take a know. hint. Listen, you could take a hint and get one point and win by one point. I'll take a hint. You'll take a hint. Egypt. The Nile? I was going to say the, the Nile. Nile River is correct. Ah! You win, Paul. <laughs> you win the El... Did you know that, too? Did you know that, Eric? You win? Win? Ah, congratulations, bro. It's a long river. It's like a Nile long. Oh, hey. And so now, uh, don't we, we, we did a little alternating. So, Eric, you're going to be up first, but we have to break this party out like this. It's time for... S E T Time to be seven, time to be seven, music and comedy, it's time to be seven, magic and variety, it's time to be seven, time to do sets. Eric Escobar. <laughs> that was great. Um, cool. Let's do some comedy. Wait, uh, real quick, Paul, you were just in Vegas, right? Cool. I yes, love it. He was. He was. 
<laughs> Paul, do you get it? What, what's your game? What do you play? Pardon? What do you play? What's your what's your gambling game? You seem like a roulette guy. Well, I, I've never gambled in Vegas ever. Oh, what a bum bum. No, no, you're I great. We love you. Foreman, I, I didn't have anything fun. I so. play. I play. Well, what do you play, Scott? What's your game? Um, I like slots and roulette. Okay. We're we're both roulette brothers. I like it. Because yeah, I was in fine. about a month ago. And get this. I was playing roulette. I won three hundred dollars, baby. I won three hundred dollars at roulette. I only put four grand on the table. All right. I don't know if I'm coming out ahead. I don't know how that works. My buddy was like, "Eric, I think you have a gambling problem." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> wanna bet? Wanna bet? Look at these jokes!" Just coming never out. Oh my lord. <laughs> Um, I do live in LA. Very happy. We do have both championships, baby. Very, very That's exciting. Right. Um, I do live in a scary part, though. Uh, kind of a dangerous part of LA. A couple nights ago, someone got shot outside my apartment. Ooh. And I was freaking out because it was my first time ever using a gun. All right, yeah. guys. Very, very <laughs> scary. Get out of here, Granny. This isn't your block. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't even like guns. I remember when I was in high school. I remember I went hunting. I tried to shoot a rabbit accidentally hit the magician all right that was the worst oh, hey, be careful uh, <laughs> Brian, <laughs> sorry it wasn't you barely missed you i love you oh, Brian. I love it. hair on your head <laughs> but the, the lockdown's been kind of crazy it's been kind of weird um i don't know who is else is quarantining with their partner there's something other yeah um, i am um i hate her so much i hate her so so <laughs> much it's been a very difficult quarantine we're trying to spice things up. She was like, uh, Eric, what can I do in the bedroom? Let me spice things up a little bit. And I was like, be Asian. You uh, can't be Asian. I, I hear Bigger that. Card. She's actually Puerto Rican, Italian, and angry all the time. All right? Yeah. It is very <laughs> We did decide to do something a little a little special. Um, I bought her I bought her uh, some lingerie. Bought her some nice lingerie. Know. She was super mad. Scott, she got so mad. She was like, Eric, why would you buy me lingerie <laughs> from Goodwill? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> talking about a second hand, am I right? Second hand? Ew, gross. <laughs> I um I don't typically live uh with my girlfriend. I actually have some horrible roommates. I don't know if you've ever had a horrible roommate. If you haven't, you were probably the horrible roommate. All right. Yeah, so look exactly. at dear dishes please my roommates are the worst they're loud they're messy they're my parents all right very very annoying <laughs> very difficult i still check up on them every now and again called my mom the other day my mom was like she asked me a weird question my mom was like eric are you pro gay people and i was like what she's like are you pro gay people i'm like mom <laughs> I'm not even amateur gay people, all right? Like, <laughs> when did they get a league? How do I audition? Let me do fantasy. It'll be wonderful. It'll be great. <laughs> I love my parents. I just feel like I got stuck with, I got stuck with two beautiful parents, but my mom's Filipino. My dad's Mexican. It's fun being Mexipino, all right? I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> but I got stuck with, like, two races with the worst names, okay? Like, get this. I got an <laughs> uncle on the Filipino side. Filipino uncle. His name is Boy. All right. He's my <laughs> uncle boy. How lazy are my grandparents? Were they like, your son, a boy. What do you want to name him? <laughs> yes. Like, no, that's the worst. On the Latino side, I got totally messed up too. I'm Escobar. You know how annoying Escobar is? Everyone's like, are you related to Pablo? Are you in a cartel? Doesn't really bother me because <laughs> they'll be dealt with. They will absolutely <laughs> Of them. <laughs> I was actually supposed to visit some family on my Mexican side. I was going to go to Mexico. I had a free flight to Mexico next week. Uh. I don't know if it's still happening, but a free flight to Mexico. I was getting deported. I don't know if that is still <laughs> going to happen. Very, very odd. I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe not till, maybe not <laughs> we'll go together, Scott. Don't worry. After our roulette. Oh, Cabo. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing that's kind of crazy. Uh, you've all may have seen me on some stuff. You may have seen me on Last Comic Standing, Comedy Central, Craigslist. Good group of credits. Good group of credits. <laughs> when I used to audition for things, I would only get cholo auditions. All right? They would only send me out to be a cholo. And you can tell how tough I am by the way I pronounce <laughs> cholo. All right? I'm not a tough guy. Not a, I don't even look like a tough cholo. I look like a cholo who loves, like, Hannes and early Blink-182. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I can steal your wallet, but it might steal your heart. Hey, <laughs> I feel like I even say Cholo like a Karen at a Jamba Juice. You know what I mean? Can I get like a mango Cholo, a Go Go? That'd be delicious, right in my mouth hole. Just like me, I love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> I um, you know what? I'm gonna actually uh, I'm gonna do 
come on, I just couple more things. Uh, one thing, I really want to do a quick little PSA. Uh, don't do drugs, guys. Don't do drugs. Learn from my mistakes. I um, I actually tried acid over quarantine, and I'm not advocating for it. Please don't do it. Please learn from what happened to me, because I took it, and I was tripped out so hard. I didn't realize my little brother walked in the room and took some, which is the scariest thing to ever happen to me as an only child. All right. Very, very hard. You know? <laughs> um, I will leave you all on this. Uh, Scott, I am very um, grateful for you. I'm grateful for all the talent we have on this lineup. I'm grateful for all of you supporting live oh, comedy. Thanks, live. We really appreciate it. Um, this has been a blessing for me. It's been a nice, you know, like hour of fun because this week has been really hard. Uh, on Wednesday, my dog, last Wednesday, my, uh, my dog actually passed away. My dog oh. of 10 years. And, um, it's been really tough getting through it. Don't know if you've lost a pet, but it's a lot. Even like the hour before this show, I was like crying in my car and it was the best live stream I've ever had. All right. So many viewers. <laughs> so good. Thank you for having me. Scott, love y'all. Hey, Zoom Lagoon, let's keep lagooning. What? Bye! Nice! Hey! So tell me about some of the other uh, other shows you have, other online shows you have coming up. Plug them all. It's a, it's a free zone to plug any show you have coming up. Most definitely. If uh, you're watching this and within uh, 10 minutes of Gardena, California, I'm on a show tonight at Brothers Bar and Grill. <laughs> <laughs> but aside from that, I feel like I post everything on my Instagram. It's at Eric Escobar. I recently released a TED Talk. So definitely uh, check that out. Just Eric Escobar TED Talk. And I'm not allowed to talk about it, but um, I have a show coming out uh, or I'm on a show. I can't talk about it, but it's not on Fox and it's not on Thursdays. So definitely don't watch either of those things. Is it not a sitcom or is it? Uh, it's, 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 it's maybe. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I like where that's going, bro. Oh, he disappeared. Hello? Oh, okay, Check that's... Check. Two round of applause. Thank you, brother. Yay! Thank you so much, man. Hey, and now it's time to bring you Brian Sanders. A little magic. You guys ready for this? Okay, Brian Sanders, I picked a card now. Treat me like a fool. Make the magic trick mean and cruel. But then guess the card I was thinking of. Was it four or three? Was it spades or hearts? To tear the Zoom Lagoon apart. Oh, Brian Sanders. Yeah, Brian Sanders. That's a little intro, Scott. Thank you very much, buddy. <laughs> awesome. Well, Scott, thank you so much for having me back. I'm really stoked. Um, right over here. Have a little bag of mystery, okay? Um, Scott, we'll try this with you really quick. Oh, I want yeah, you to let's do this. I love it. I want you to name any fruit or vegetable. Apple. Apple, really? Do you want to change your mind? Uh, kiwi. Kiwi. You're satisfied with that? Yeah, I like kiwi. That's amazing, because check this out. Inside this bag, I have a kiwi. And it changes into a lemon. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'll let y'all stick with the comedy. I'll just, I'll try to stick to magic. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll put that away for me. <laughs> All right. Look, right here I have a, uh, we're going to try something really quick. We're going to, obviously I can't have you reach in and take out a card. Okay. But you can see all the cards are different. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Um, uh, Paul's not in the room. Uh, Last, wow. we'll try this with you, man. Cool. All right. Laz, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ruffle through the cards like that. And at any moment, I want you to say stop, okay? And I'll look away so that I can't see the card. But I'm going to riffle, and you say stop whenever you feel the urge. Sound good? Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. I'm going to look the other way. Now, Laz, at any moment, say stop. Stop. Right there. Y'all see the card? I see it. Memorize the value. Memorize the suit, okay? 
Memorized. All right. Now, hopefully you have, hopefully both of you have the card memorized, but we're going to try something. Watch if we just do a snap. Don't try to keep a poker straight face, but let me know if you see your card. I'll try to keep this quick. Cause I know we are running a little bit on time, but as I don't worry, do your thing. As I go through all the cards, I want you to let me know if you do see the card that you are thinking of. We'll go all the way through each card. All right. Did y'all see your card it. at all? No. Nope. See the card? No. Nope. Yeah. That's weird. And earlier we had a uh, earlier we had the mystery lemon, right? We're gonna try something really quick. We're gonna take the lemon like this. Oh, oh boy. Uh, I like where this is going. We'll just cut into it like that. And we'll rip. And hopefully you can see something Whoa. inside that oh, lemon right there. Man. No way. Hold on. Oh, my pullout game is strong. <laughs> hey, man. We'll unravel that up and uh, just out of curiosity, what was the card? Eight of hearts. Eight of hearts. Well, <laughs> hopefully you can see that that is the. Uh, Whoa, right man, there. that is sick. Wow. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Now we're going to try something. Uh, this is really difficult to do, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try it virtually. Okay. Uh, Scott, we'll do this with you, man. Okay. Uh, well, Paul's here too, Paul. I'm here. Oh, Paul. Oh, Paul's right there. Awesome. Okay. I didn't see. Okay. He moves off to the side. Okay, Paul, let me ask you this really quick. Um, how many words would you say are on uh, Wikipedia? Total? Yeah, total. Like added up every and every, every single word on uh, the English Wikipedia. Billions. Billions. Now, when we don't know the answer to something and we want to find the answer, what do we do? I Wikipedia it. <laughs> yeah, or you Google it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, you, do you have your phone uh, anywhere around you? I do. Can you do me a favor? I want you to Google how many words are on Wikipedia. Doing it. Yeah, go ahead and Google how many words are on Wikipedia. How many words on in Wikipedia? How many articles are there? How many? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and click on that one. Okay, how many articles? There's 55 million articles with uh, 6.2 million in English. 6.2 uh, million English. Go back really quick. Uh, go back to Google on where you were before, and we'll try to see if uh, – do you, do you have a uh, – is there a site that pops up that keeps track of it? It's called, like, WikiCount or something. Well, I could just Google WikiCount. You could do that too. Googling WikiCount. Where magic meets the Internet. <laughs> wiki meets all right, wiki. Uh, wiki count. All right, so here's wiki count. How many articles? All right, there are approximately 6.1 million articles in English with an average of approximately 1,443 words per article. So we could we could do a little math there. So 1,443 times 6.1 million, uh, what's that make it? 60 million? Like 60 is... Like 60, what was the, what, what was the what, what'd you say the number was again? I'm trying to get, I'm I've got my uh, got my calculator up right here. I'm gonna do it really quick for you. What was the average number of words per article? Six million articles and let's say fifteen hundred words per article. It was like fourteen forty three, right? Yeah. So we'll do fourteen forty three and exactly. that words. I'm rounding. It's six million one hundred ninety two thousand five hundred and eighty one million. Do you have it pulled? Do you have it pulled up? Show the screen really quick if you can. He's so far away. Let me get. Come a little bit closer. You're my. So that's, that's how many articles there are with an average of fourteen forty three words. And not one of them about me. What the? Multiply. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we take fourteen forty three, and we'll multiply by. That's going to bump it up to what, like nine, 90 million words? Yeah, something like that. Something like 90 million words. Um, this is what I want to do. Uh, let's try this. Go ahead and uh, 
where it says visit Wikipedia, hit visit Wikipedia. Okay. Today's featured article, article, the banker horse. The banker horse. All right. This is what we need to do. Uh, where it says search, I want I you to search for her. the first thing that comes up in your head. Doesn't matter what it is. Search for the first thing that comes up in my head. Yep. All right. All right. And does an article pop up? Huh? Does an article pop up for whatever you search? What I thought of, I must have spelled wrong. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it was like, there is not an article for this. Okay. You probably search for a question or something. You can search for something else if you like. Okay. Got it. You got it? Got it. And does an article pop up? Yeah. Scroll through the article, see a big word, like a six to 10 letter word. Okay. You got a word? Got a word. All right. Now, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. It's virtual, so it might be difficult, but I want you to think about that word and place the thumb up against your heart. All right. Uh, the word you're thinking of, does it, the word you're thinking of, does it start with an R? No. It doesn't. What does it start with? An E. An E. All right. I'm going to, uh, there's an, okay, there's not an R in the word, is there? No. No. But there's like a, it makes a, is it like an F? Is there an F in the word? Yes. Okay, hold on. I'm going to just go for this. I don't even know if I'm going to get it. Mm. I could be completely off, but I'm just, I, I just went for it. And if it doesn't work out, Scott can edit it out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, um, let's see. Uh, Paul, do me a favor. Uh, what's the word you're thinking of? Effectively. Effectively, right there. Oh, oh dude. Awesome. There you are. I Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it, brother. Right there. Dude, that was sick, man. Awesome. Anyways, y'all, my name is Brian Sanders. Thank y'all so much. Scott, thank you so much for having me on the show. And I'm honored to st share the uh, virtual stage with such great talent tonight. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Hey, tell everybody where they can see some more magic. Oh, yeah. You can check me out on social media on Facebook and Instagram at Magic is BS. Okay. At Magic is BS. You can uh, see it right there. Yeah. Magic that is BS. Pretty and for Brian Sanders, obviously. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Awesome. Dude, Appreciate it, y'all. So good. Thanks. Thanks for being here, man. That was, dude, that was a couple great reveals. I love that. Hey, awesome. and now it's time for Mr. Laz Vic. I made something special for you, too, Mr. Laz. Laz is caught in a trap. Told me to tell you he can't get out. He told me to tell you he loves you, baby. How come he told me to tell you all these personal things? By the way, he told me to give you a kiss and give me $20. This is kind of getting awkward. <laughs> By the way, it's Laz's turn. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Last Vic. Oh, That's yeah, awesome. That <laughs> was awesome, Scott. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on the show. You look delicious. <laughs> You're probably asking, Scott, why, oh, why does Laz have a turkey on his head? Uh, why, why does Laz have a turkey? Because I am also, I mean, I'm not as good as Brian, but I am an amateur magician. Oh. And this is to stop me from seeing what the next trick that I'm about to do. Does that make sense, Scott? Ooh, it's blindfolded. It's a blindfold. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to get this off. I know. It's kind of Joey from Friends. I like it. This was for you, Scott, because I knew you were worked on Friends. Yeah, back in the day, man. And as is tradition, I decided to put a turkey on my head. As one does. But now it's stuck. 
So, Scott, I would like you and your audience to think of a number between one and three million. Mm, okay. And I will guess your number. Think of it hard. Put it towards your heart. Think. All right. Do you have the number? Yes. All right. Hold on. It kind of smells in here. <laughs> oh, okay. This also, Scott, protects me from the Rona. Yeah. Well, it's quite a mask. <laughs> I am being proactive, Scott, and everywhere I go, I wear this. <laughs> you have your number, Scott? Yes, I do, sir. Okay. All right. Audience at home, is your number 2.37542? Yes. Yes. I'm sure it was. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's so weird. That was weird, isn't it, Scott? <laughs> How did you I know that was your number, dude. Whew, all right, let me take this off. I thought that was a long oh, shot. Oh, man. Whew, Scott, what's going on? How much, bro? How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. That one's going a little sweaty from the turkey, but uh, it's turkey days next next week, uh, Scott. And uh, in my family, you know, when you're a kid, I'm, I grew up Latino, Scott. I have a Spanish family. Uh, my mom's Puerto Rican. My dad's Cuban. And when you're a kid, your only source of information is your family that's it when you're a young child that's your only source coming into you besides sesame street that's it but it doesn't help if both your parents have thick spanish accents oh yeah communication problems happen for example for christmas scott i asked for that game clue mm, you know that yeah, game yeah. master you detective know. clue i love this game they gave me they gave me elmer's clue for Christmas. <laughs> they didn't understand. <laughs> and then and then there was a holiday called Happy Sam Gibbons Day, Scott. What's that about? Happy Sam Gibbons Day. And we had a turkey, we had stuffing. Oh, Sam. <laughs> and my mom would ask her, Happy Sam Gibbons? <laughs> Happy Sam Gibbons? <laughs> Happy Sam Gibbons. Who is Sam Gibbons? Uh, he's generous. Why are we having a turkey for this man? <laughs> I kept waiting for an English guy to show up. Hello, I'm Sam Gibbons. <laughs> Hello. He was one of the Bee Gees. He must have been. <laughs> and then there was Bell Day. Scott, and my parents would sing it to me every year. Happy Bell Day to you. <laughs> Happy bell. I thought I was Jewish. Do Jew. <laughs> but I never got a bell, Scott. I never got a bell. And that was my childhood. Those were my holidays, Scott. And I, we're talking about Thanksgiving and Christmas. My birthday, Scott, is in December. I don't know if you knew this. Oh, almost. I have a De I'm a December baby. Late, mid, late December. And as a result, oh, yeah. Yeah. I would get the combination gifts. Oh, that's a rip off. I would get sneakers. I would get the right sneaker for my birthday and the left for Christmas. <laughs> I would get the toy for my birthday and the batteries for Christmas. <laughs> oh, man. The worst. It was the worst having your birthday so close. I want to move my birthday to July. <laughs> Speaking of which, Scott, I'm over here in Jersey and yeah. I've tried the outside dining. It's lovely. The outside dining in New Jersey, let me just tell you. Nothing adds to the flavor of your steak like the exhaust of a New Jersey transit bus, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing adds to the experience as almost get hit by a car several times while <laughs> drinking some wine, Scott. It's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. And I've noticed a trend in the outside dining lately. Um, they put up tents scott a nice tent they put up a yeah, nice yeah. tent with little four walls and they drape lights over the tent scott and they have all these seats in there and they have like a whole band inside and everyone's packed and they zip you up in the tent and you're in there with a hundred other people scott aren't you now inside you're inside I isn't agree. that count as inside to me four yeah. walls a roof it doesn't matter if it's made out of plastic that counts as inside it might even be worse it might even be worse than inside. It might be worse. Wet beads on the side of the tent. Just go inside. 
That's all I'm saying. <laughs> just go inside. Right. Okay. And I'm going to leave you with this, Scott. I'm going to leave you with this. I just, I just got into a new relationship. I don't know if you knew this, Scott. Oh, congrats, bro. Thank you. Thank you. So I just started a brand new relationship. We're brand new. We do everything together. We're stuck in quarantine together, Scott. We do everything together. We watch movies, Netflix. We play a lots of video games together. Actually, do you want to meet her? Yeah. I have her. She's here. Yeah. Honey, do, honey, they want to meet you. Do you want to come over here? One second. Sarah. Honey, come over here. There she is, Scott. Oh, there she is. Do you love her? Nice. That's a nice. That's How is it? I'm in a relationship with my PlayStation 5, Scott. <sighs> it's me and her in the quarantine. I don't care if the world burns. Let the world burn. I don't care. <laughs> it's me and the PS5, Scott. What are you playing? Nothing. We've just been sleeping together. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, where do we I? Ha we haven't gotten that far yet, Scott. I just met her. Where Calm do I, down. Where do I put the disc? Oh, you don't have one? We can work around it. This is the digital edition, Scott. I download everything. It's the future. Yeah. So thank you, Scott. Thank you, Zoom Lagoon. Thank you so hey, much, ladies and gentlemen. You. My name is Laz Vic. Laz Vic. Paul, you there? Yes, I am. Hey, Paul is here. Hey, Laz, tell us what you got going on. I know you got your own comedy show and you got a gaming show. Tell yes, us sir. You. And you won an award out there in Jersey. I saw you. I Jersey. did. I did. I'm the five time champion of the Meadowlands Comedy Club here in Secaucus, New Jersey. I don't know how that happened. Thank there you so that. much. And so you can check me out on lasvic.com, which you can uh, check out on the interwebs. But I have my own gaming channel, which is debuting on cable television, Scott. What? We're making our cable debut on BMG and Viva Live TV Comedy, and the show is called Unstable Gamers, and you can see it on unstablegamers.com. Oh, that's so cool, man. All right. Thank you, Laz Vic. Thank you. And stick around because we got the, the mighty, mighty Paul. And you know what, Paul? I had to go big for you. I had to go American Trilogy. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's my jam. I went for you, bro. Here we go. Paul Green. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Ooh, yeah. Paul Green. He's on the show. Say Paul Green, he's on the show. I hit a big note, maybe not the right note, but it was a big note. Paul Green, <laughs> Paul Green, everybody. What's going on, everybody? Um, thanks for having me on again, Scott. You know, last time I was on here, I did something that was really fun. And uh, I improvised a song for our studio audience based off of their suggestion. Yeah. And I've got the musical again, so I think I'm going to do that again. I have the Facebook up here. I So uh, if you are viewing the show, all I need from you is a suggestion for an improvised song. My only rules are don't be gross and no politics and no quarantine or anything oh. <laughs> anything uh, COVID related. So if you post in the comments uh, what you want me to improvise a song about, the only thing there's a slight delay, so I'm saying this now, but they're probably gonna hear it in about 10 seconds. Um, but if they don't comment within a little bit, then uh, I will allow uh, our esteemed guests I called you a guest, Scott. That's very insulting. You are the producer, the man, the host, the MC, oh, the hey. comedian, the author, the composer, uh, <laughs> nice. uh, the the tech person. Um, okay, I got an answer. Um, Avi, um, is it Naaman? Uh, said kitty cats. Kitty cats. Avi wants to hear a song about kitty cats. So I will go now to uh, Scott. Or uh, Laz, um, give me any genre of music that you would like to hear a song about kitty cats. Elvis Presley style. Uh, yes. 
Let's see what I'm gonna do. All right, I'll try it. <laughs> something I saw. Oh, it had four paws. Now I'm doing the kitty rock with you. Let's rock. Let's do the kitty rock. What you think about that? The rock and kitty cats. Now she's got nine lives and I'm feeling all right. Oh, she likes to jive. Come and do that kitty cat jive. Let's rock. Kitty cat rock. Everybody at the pound is walking to the kitty cat rock. I am Paul Green. That was the uh, kitty cat Elvis Presley rock right here, improvised live on Zoom Lagoon. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> You're the man, man. Well, you know, I do what I can. <laughs> All right. That was the Paul. That was the Paul set. Hey, Paul. Good stuff, yeah. buddy. Uh, tell us what else. What do you have going on? I know you have some other cool live shows and some Instagram uh, live Zoom shows coming up. What do you like? Would you like yeah. to promote? On Friday, I'm participating um, in the in the. How are they saying this? The comedy demic or the pan comedy or whatever. <laughs> um, I, I, a mashup of comedy and pandemic somehow. Uh, it's actually a comedy competition. So uh, if you want to come and help me out and vote for me, that would be awesome. That's on Friday. Uh, so you can follow me on Facebook at Paul Green Comedy. Shoot me a message. I will give you more information. That is awesome. Hey, th I want to thank all my guests tonight. I want to thank Brian Sanders, who was had to get, Brian Sanders and Eric Escobar had some other shows. We kind of had a late start. And um, so thank you to those guys for being on the show. And thank you for Mr. Laz Vic coming in from Germany. Yes. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Paul. Nice meeting you, Paul. Awesome set. Paul Green, everybody. Paul, you're awesome. By the way, uh, our show that uh, th that Paul was on the last one, our, our Halloween show, um, 400 live views on Facebook and over 10,000 views on YouTube. So, bam! I, I, and I had a awesome. lot of super duper great feedback about the uh, the uh, Halloween spooktacular. So I want to let you guys know that coming up, we have take a look at this. We have next week, we got a lot of great shows coming up. We have Omar Illusion next week. We have Josh Randall. We have Frankie. I'll be back. And we have Will Roberts doing some things. Once again, if you're hanging out on Saturday, I am in the Zoom Field Follies with Jonathan Molo, Chris Heron as Faust. We have Nader Hannah and then my girl, Meadow Perry. And it's going to be magic and all kinds of fun stuff. And then Will's going to be on our show coming up. We got a couple other great shows coming up. We have a Christmas show and a Nightmare Before Christmas show, and then a New Year's Eve special coming up. Lots of killer guests. I'm so grateful for your time, and here's my message to you. First off, cheers. It's a good message. That is my message. And then I want to say this. Thanksgiving, I know. Some people are bummed they can't see their family. Some people are like, yes! We don't want to see your family. But here's my message to you. There, there's still going to be turkey next year. <laughs> there's going to be time. You know what, Americans? It used to be like Thanksgiving was the time where you ate till you were going to like, you were so full. Come on, we're Americans. We do that like every day now. <laughs> 
a lot of us. We, you know, there used to be like Thanksgiving raised some kind of like eating bar, but not anymore. Now it's we do that way too much, anyways. But um, it's a bummer. But do a Zoom thing, do whatever. We're all feeling it. It's kind of lame, but you know, better safe than sorry. That's my book. But you play it how you're gonna do it. And we have a great show next week. I hope to see you next week. I love you for your time. If you've been hanging out watching the whole night, I really appreciate you. And I'll see you next week on Zoom Lagoon. Thanks, Laz. Thank you, man.